it's the time of the year again. Time when we should be thinking what we will stop, start, and continue. Time when we think of our plans and goals for the upcoming new year. Probably same time last year we said this year 2022 will be the year for all that is positive and great. Past studies have shown that 80% fail on their New Year's resolutions by February. Year in, year out, same things happen. We fail on our New Year's resolutions. Why do we fail in our New Year's resolutions? Main reason, we overcommit and overestimate how much we can really actually do. We tend to have unrealistic expectations. We even think just because a year has crossed to a new year, things will somehow magically change. Yung sabi ng horoscope, sa feng shui, baraha, o manghuhula, hindi naman mangyayari. The truth is, it's not a new year, new me. What happens? New year, same me. If you did not get to change, and be, have, and do what you wanted this year, it most likely not going to happen next year. Just because we said so when we were tipsy or drunk during the end of the year party or so baselessly optimistic during the new year countdown. What one needs are concrete steps, ways, and approaches to follow and keep one on the right path. Three ways, three approaches in making sure we can actually do what we promise ourselves to do this coming new year. The right approach, way or method is the perfect day method. How is the perfect day method? Grab a piece of paper, write in detail what the perfect day looks like for you. Be realistic. Your perfect day. What time did you wake up in the morning? Umaga, hindi tanghali. A.M., not P.M. Wake and get up. Baka awake pero nakahiga pa rin. Your morning rituals. How you go about with your work. Basically, how you spend your awake time. Make sure to cover everything from the time you wake up to the moment you go to bed by the end of the day. Perfect day is not the day when you finished everything. Perfect day is a balanced way of managing your energy and priorities. Be consistent. Think of your ideal self in an ideal situation. After writing down your detailed perfect day, take a second look. Make it simpler and more manageable. Sa unang, masyado optimistic. May daming gagawin. Plenty to accomplish. Careful as you may fall into the trap of overcommitment and overestimating how much you can really and actually do and accomplish. After you are done with the second draft of your perfect day, pick a day of the week that you will plan to have the first perfect day. I suggest Monday as it will set the tone and vibe for the rest of the week. But you have the liberty to choose whatever day. This 2023, the day after the first day of the year, Monday na agad. Kaya maganda to start on a Monday. Now, every week of that day, Monday for example, try to enact, reenact, achieve again that perfect day as much as you can. One day of the week muna. It is important to start with only one day for the whole month of January of the new year. This January 2023, five days on Monday. Two reasons why only one day a week for or to have that perfect day. One, to see what is actually doable. To have an ideal version of ourselves. See what you can actually contribute to have that perfect day for yourself, for family, for friends, for work, and even for your faith. You get to consciously do something positive, productive, and significant. Second purpose of that perfect day approach, to give you momentum. One great day might have a spillover the next day. Later on, it may even have a ripple effect for the rest of the week. The perfect day will excite you because you feel good about yourself. You're actually able to do and accomplish tasks. You keep through your resolutions for only a day in the week, four to five days in a month. From February, add another day, ideally one day apart from the initial perfect day. So if every Monday in the month of January is your designated perfect day, come February, add Wednesday to be your perfect day as well for the month of February. Monday perfect day, spill over on Tuesday, then consciously make an effort that Wednesday be a perfect day again. You may do a little adjustments. It's okay, it's fine. But stick to the perfect day plan. And March comes, add a third perfect day for the week. Three perfect days a week is all we need to see major progress 
in whatever we decide or promise at the start of the new year. By end of March of the new year, you will be a different person. The perfect day method works because it's easy to manage and you are not overcommitting. It builds discipline. It's at your own pace. And three perfect days in a week is all we need. Imagine being the best version of ourselves and being productive and significant. One year of this, three perfect days a week in 52 weeks in a year, you will be miles ahead of the new year, new me crowd. Second approach. What if you don't know what a perfect day looks like? Now think and use timelines on what you wish, want, or aim for. Three timelines, short-term, medium-term, long-term. Short-term, think of what you wish or want that will take about three months to get done. Good example is being healthy and fit. Maybe start doing the five basic exercises. Three sets with five reps each of push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, squats, and calf raises. Add a rep each day till you are able to do 15 reps of three sets of these five exercises. On average, it takes around three months to see comparable results from exercise, eating properly, and getting enough rest or sleep. For your medium-term timeline, pick something that will take around six to eight months to get done. I strongly suggest learn. Learn something new or learn to make things better. Here's the brutal truth. Next year will be a difficult year. Many are seen to lose their jobs. Learn new skills, plural skills, not just a skill. Improve on your skills, analytical, communication, and digital skills. Even if you still have that source of income, make these new skills contribute to possible and or additional sources of income. Be smart, educate yourself, and learn to navigate the new digital economy. 10 hours a week for learning, for educating ourselves, 520 hours in a year of learning, practicing, and even mastering, definitely, surely, puts you at a very good advantage. For the third timeline, long term, something that you wish, want, that may take a longer time. Pick one thing that is hurting you and decide never to do it again. Remember, start, stop, continue. Decide for that one or two, at the most three, that you will stop cold turkey. Stopping things, stopping bad habits carry more impact in our lives. Third way to have that better new year is to get a coach, a mentor, teacher, therapist, gym buddy, or any source of outside accountability. The point of having a coach is not to show you how things are. Look at sports, team or individual sports. All have coaches. The athletes, even the elite athletes, all need and have coaches. In fact, most of the great coaches, team or individual sports, are not as good as an actual player or great in the sport that they coach in. Having a coach will allow you to have a different perspective, provide you constructive criticism. A coach, an outside entity, will see different and multiple angles, where you are weak, where you are strong, to improve and to capitalize. If you've got the opportunity to get an outside accountability, we strongly suggest you consider it. A mentor can get you to where you want and need to be faster and safer. Serious about getting a coach? Hit me up. Send us a message here. Best if you subscribe in our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and in TikTok as well. Click like if you liked our materials and share these materials as well. A happy and prosperous new year to all of us.